to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be on hair textures, popular hair textures. Now I am making this video because I recently received an email and in the email I was asked the question of, um, I'm trying to think how I can phrase it. It was pretty much asking what is the most popular hair texture to sell and I've made videos before on my channel about my most popular hair texture and the hair textures that I would recommend you starting off with. However, however, um, I do have to stress, I don't, I don't think that I can stress this enough. Every company, you know, does not have the same success with selling the same textures. Meaning, I can have great success selling Mongolian Deep Wave, but another hair company may not have that same success. Another hair company may have great success selling Brazilian straight. Another company may not. And so I'm gonna be going over in this video why it's not just black and white and some of the reasons why one company may have a certain popular hair texture and another company may not have the same experience or the same results. And so if you are looking at getting started with your hair business, uh, this would be a good video for you. Like I said, I have videos that go over my recommendations as far as what you, you should start off with um, if you're not looking at incorporating tons of textures with your business starting off. I've gone over what my personal popular, most popular hair texture is for my business, but the question still remains to a lot of people, hey, you know, what's the most popular hair texture for me to offer? And that's just not a blanket black and white answer. I just can't say, hey, get this texture, you're gonna have success selling it. Um, and so like I mentioned, in this video, I'm going to be going over why it's not just a black and white answer and some reasons why, you know, different companies have different successes based on the textures that they sell and why some companies have different popular hair textures than others. So if you are um, interested in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. Let's say Brazilian straight, it's your most, you know, that's your personal favorite. That's the texture that you're wearing most often. That's the texture that you're talking about. That's the texture that you enjoy. You love it. You love your other textures, but this is the texture that you enjoy on yourself. Typically, that texture is going to be your most popular texture. Why? Because it's the texture that you're constantly promoting. We have to realize that when you're wearing your product, that's promotion. Especially if people are coming up to you, hey, I love your hair. That's a great segue to start talking about your business, your brand. When you're taking selfies, typically when you take a selfie and you have your extensions in or you have your products on or you have whatever the case may be, a lot of times you'll tag your business in that um, picture, in that selfie, promoting your business. Um, and so a lot of times we typically cling to a certain texture that we personally like and we end up promoting that texture so much that it does become one of our most popular selling textures. So that's one of the reasons why different companies have had different experiences with what's the most popular texture for them. You can line five different companies up and I guarantee the companies are gonna have different popular textures. Now there are textures that are just, you know, hot selling at that point, depending on where you're at, depending on different things, you know what I mean? Depending on the hype that's going around that certain texture, depending on a celebrity that may have just had that look, depending on a lot of different things. You know, you definitely have those factors, but typically what I've seen is I've seen whenever, whatever your most popular texture is, is the texture that you're most likely promoting the most. And so it's the texture that's most likely getting the most exposure. And therefore it's the texture that's being bought by many of your customers. Like I said, you can love, you know, you can like all of your textures. In fact, you should like and, and love all of your textures, but typically, um, the one that you have fell in love with is the one that you're going to be recommending most often. So that's the first tip that I wanted to get out. I don't think that we realize how much promotion we give to our favorite textures that makes our customers more interested and it makes those textures most popular. Is there anything wrong with that? No, it's actually a good thing. But I'm saying that to say that um, when you're looking at purchasing hair extensions or when you're looking at you know purchasing products or items for your business, uh, definitely, you know, do your research and, you know, you can ask questions. Hey, what, what texture do you find is the most beneficial for you selling uh, at this time? And I can honestly give you my true, you know, true answer, but that doesn't mean it's going to be the same for you. If, if my favorite texture is a texture that you don't enjoy wearing or a texture that you probably won't ever wear or a texture that, you know, no one's going to be um, sending in selfies for or you don't have anyone to wear it for you 
or you know you really haven't fallen in love with it it's harder to sell I've, I've mentioned this in other videos it's harder to sell a product that you really don't know much about and it's harder to sell a product that you really don't honestly enjoy that's why it's easier to sell products that you actually use and so I always recommend even if you're doing drop shipping I always recommend that you you know get some of your product you wear some of your product you become familiar with your product it's not only going to help you sell it better because you're speaking from a place of experience and from a place of passion because you honestly enjoy the product but it's also going to help you have a better understanding of okay this is how this hair acts this is what we need to do if you are looking at getting this style. This is the wig that I recommend you go with based on the density that you described you wanted. or You know what I mean? Like you have a better um, understanding of what you're, you're speaking about and it definitely goes through to your customers. Your customers can definitely tell when you're, you know, passionate about your product, when you actually enjoy your product, or when you're just speaking about it, just, you know, trying to make extra money. So you do want to make sure that you are actually becoming, I don't want to say one with your product, but you want to make sure that you're um, actually, you know, fa falling in love and enjoying the products that you are selling because it's going to make your selling process so much easier. Um, also, another thing that I wanted to bring up is every company is different and offers different grades. So one company may have a better straight texture over another hair company. So I wanted to stress this point because I think so many people forget um, just because a company has great success with selling straight hair, say you're starting you know, to, to, to start your hair business and you're asking your friends um, that are already you know, in the hair industry, hey, what texture should I purchase? And they're like, you should take purchase Brazilian straight for an example and you purchase Brazilian straight but you're not purchasing from their vendor and you're expecting the same results as they're getting uh, keep in mind that not all vendors offer the same type of hair all virgin hair is not the same all raw hair is not the same um, there's different processes there's different donors there's different um, density that comes in you know with with the wigs that you're purchasing there's different uh you know weights that are coming with different vendors that are sending out different bundles like not every bundle is the same and i think sometimes we forget that we think that okay i'm just going to get brazilian straight because everyone has that and it's going well for them just because it's going well for them and you decide to purchase from another vendor doesn't mean you're going to have that same experience and so one thing that you have to keep it keep keep in mind and keep open is that there's not a one size fits all for your success in business. And I, I think, you know, it's, it's, it sounds like it's, it's uh, an easy concept to grasp, but I think so many people have a hard time understanding that because it's easier to just be like, okay, tell me the, the, the roadmap, tell me the blueprint, I'm gonna follow it and I'm gonna be, you know, just, I, I'm gonna have the same exact experience and success as you had. And that's not true, I cannot stress that enough. You have to take into consideration who you're purchasing your bundles from. You have to take into consideration the relationship that you have with your vendor. You have to take into consideration the quality of the hair that your vendor is sending you. What quality? You know, how does it, you know, how, how is your quality of the bundles? Have you actually tried them out personally? So many times I have people that, um, you know, don't, don't try out the hair. They don't wear the hair and uh, it really puts you at a disadvantage because even though you may have experience wearing extensions, you want experience wearing the type of extensions that you're selling. You, you know what I mean? You, you want experience doing that and you want to understand that, yeah, you know, my friend may be selling Brazilian straight from this vendor because even though it's a fast selling item for her, it doesn't mean that it's gonna be a fast selling item for me. So it's really important to figure out what your company is going to offer, what textures you wanna to bring to, to your clients. And keep in mind that you don't have to offer every texture today, you know what I mean? You don't have to launch with every single texture that there is. You can choose, I would personally choose a couple of my favorite textures and I would go with that. Why? Because you're going to have the most passion and the most understanding and the most love for the textures that you enjoy wearing. And it's going to be, like I said, so much easier for you to um, relay the, the message to your customers and to get through to your customers that, hey, this is so good that this is what I choose to wear. You know what I mean? This is what I'm, this is what I have gone with. This is what I typically wear. So just, I just wanted to bring up that keep in mind, just because someone says, hey, I have good success selling Brazilian straight, you want to make sure that your vendor, you know, that the straight that you're buying is, is of good quality. Because if it's not, it doesn't matter what texture you're, you're interested in purchasing if the uh, hair quality isn't up to par. Also, another tip that, or another point that I wanted to go over is um, 
based on marketing and advertising, one company may spend more money uh, towards advertising a certain texture than the other company. So this is another reason why you may see certain companies having great success selling a certain texture and another company may not have that same success. You may be wondering, hmm, you know, why are they having so much success selling Brazilian straight, but I haven't sold any. Take into consideration that you simply don't know there's, you know, you, you don't know their strategy. Just picking a company off of Instagram and seeing how many likes they have opposed to yours and then looking at yourself and, and beating yourself up and saying, wow, you know, how come everyone else is having great success selling this particular texture and I'm not? You don't know what success they're having and you don't know what amount of money they're putting behind their advertising. There's companies that spend so much money on advertising and they get lots of likes because they're promoting that post or because they just are, you know, popular or they're getting lots of likes but you know they're not really getting satisfaction from their customers. Their clients really aren't happy after a purchase or they're not making as many sales as you're thinking they're making. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I talk about this a lot in my videos too. Likes don't necessarily accumulate to sales. You know, of course you want likes. Of course you want people to see your posts. But like I've mentioned in a lot of videos, I've posted pictures and literally have gotten maybe four likes on pictures, but I've gotten more than that in sales off of that, you know, that post. So keep in mind, don't necessarily get wrapped up in what someone else is doing to provide success. I'm not saying that you have to be blind to what anyone else is doing or, you know, that you can't take any tips or advice. I'm just saying that ultimately what's going to work best for you is going to be your experience. It's not going to be identical to anyone else. And so if someone is telling you to purchase, you know, something that's way above your budget you know purchase five five of these textures and a hundred bundles per each texture and a hundred closures per each texture and you're like i just i can't afford that at this time don't feel over obligated to make that purchase realize that you can start small realize that you know just because someone else is having success with a certain texture does not guarantee that you're going to have that same success realize that you know marketing advertising is a huge point a huge part of what's going to be your most popular selling texture even if you want to change it up I know when I first started selling hair extensions, my favorite texture was Brazilian straight. That's what I wore all the time. And then I, at that point, I was selling majority Brazilian straight. And then I started selling a lot of Brazilian body wave because I started wearing body wave. And I would get lots of questions on the hair that I was wearing. And so I would constantly promote what I was wearing. And then I started enjoying um, Mongolian deep wave. And that's still my most popular you know, texture to this day. And I believe strongly because it has something to do with the fact that it's my favorite texture. I enjoy wearing it. And I'm sorry, my, my phone keeps shifting, so bear with me but I enjoy wearing it so it's easier for me to sell the benefits on something that I'm wearing it's easy for me to go out and promote the hair that I'm wearing so to wrap it up to sum everything up in this video I just wanted to bring attention to the question that I most commonly get and that question is like I mentioned you know hey what is the most popular hair texture to sell and the truth is you know I can tell you what my most popular texture is. You can even take a poll and you can read some blogs and everyone's going to tell you what their most popular texture is for their company or what the, you know, typical most popular texture is in the industry. But that does not mean that you're going to have that same experience. So my recommendation would be to everyone that is in, uh, you know, interested in starting their hair business or currently in their hair business and still stuck on, you know, what textures should I offer? Um, my recommendation would be this. Understand that no matter what texture you offer is going to take time, it's going to take promotion, and it's going to take marketing. Whether you use paid ads or whether it's something that you're doing, um, you know, just going around and promoting your business yourself, whether it's something that you have your ambassadors doing, whether it's something that you're doing through social media, it's going to take time more than likely and it's going to take work. Another recommendation I would have is become familiar with your products. Don't necessarily rely solely on everyone else's experience. You know, understand that everyone has a different experience and a different journey and what works well for one is not going to work well for all next piece of advice is don't over obligate yourself I know that we all want success very bad you know what I mean especially when you get started with your business you're like I'm ready to go I'm ready to start seeing results and if you know I'm not selling the textures that I purchased I'm willing to just try something else but don't over obligate yourself don't over obligate yourself don't pressure yourself into buying inventory that you can't afford there are so many different options out there there's drop shipping um there's you know 
wholesale options where you ne don't necessarily have to purchase above your means. If you have to start off with 10 bundles, then start off with 10 bundles. Don't feel pressure to overdo it because you still have to keep in mind that just buying inventory is not all that you need. You still want to have some money available for marketing. You still want to have some uh, money available for promotion, for giveaways, to keep your business running, for your website, for different apps that you may want to add on to your site, for, you know, just different business expenses. You still may, branding material, you still may want to have, or I should say you still are going to want to have money for different things. You know what I mean? You still are. And I'm sorry for the lighting here um, and for the phone moving around. But I really hope that this video helped. I just wanted to break down why it's not so easy for me to just give you a black and white, white answer and say, okay, these are the textures that you should purchase. Um, I do have videos where I'm giving you my recommendation, but my recommendation is going to be off of my experience and also the experience of the companies that I work with. Seeing the um, orders and the textures that I send out most on behalf of other co companies and, and clients that work with me through drop shipping. Um, also keep in mind that you can when you do drop shipping, you can still purchase um, like a sample kit to have different textures on hand. That way you can promote different textures. And that's a way to avoid spending so, so much money in inventory if you're not ready for it. If you're ready for it, then, you know, by all means, go ahead and stock up on your inventory. But I just wanted to give you another option um, as far as you drop shipping and then having, you know, a few bundles on hand to promote. Uh, in person and also on social media. That's going to give you the ability to actually see the product that you're selling firsthand and recommend based on, you know, um, you know, the products that you were actually able to feel and touch and wash and curl and things like that. I definitely recommend going ahead and wearing the hair extensions. Okay, you know, you don't have to wear them every day. I wear, I sell hair extensions and I'm not wearing the extensions that I saw at this point. You don't necessarily have to wear them every day, but it is going to be a great promotion for you and for your business to promote the items and the products that you're selling. You will, I'm, I'm sure, a lot of people will start to see a change in their, in the interest. Customers may come to you interested about your product and it's at that point it's your, your responsibility to turn that interest into a sale based on the value that you can provide, um, you know, from, from, from your products or from your services. And we'll be making more videos about that, but I just wanted to get this out. So I hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.